All right, what's up? Uh, who's your boo here? Um, I am in Galena, Illinois, and uh, Galena was for a time the home of General and President Ulysses S. Grant, and that is his home up there. Uh, so yeah, let's go check this out. So uh, Grant was uh, born in Point Pleasant, Ohio, been to his birthplace, grew up in Georgetown, Ohio, been to his boyhood home. Uh, but he lived in a number of places. He was a farmer in St. Louis. So uh, Grant moved into this house after the war. He did live here for about a year, kind of clerking. He did a number of weird jobs after he uh, resigned from the military. Uh, he had a rough experience at Fort Humboldt, way up in Northern California in the 1850s. That must have sucked. Um, but yeah, so he moved into this massive house. Um, and then he lived here on and off because then he did go to Washington, you know, just became president as you do, two terms. Uh, and then he came here for a little bit longer, and then he went to New York City for some business opportunities. And he died at his home uh, near uh, Mount McGregor in New York, which is a little north of Albany. Um, but yeah, this was his primary house for towards the end of his life. And this house is a national historic landmark. This was the staircase. Saving the Union in the process. When the war was over, the Grants came back here to Galena, where he was hailed as a hero. This was his library. That's his uh, writing desk. And those are his cigars. Fully furnished on this is another view of the library. Gave it to the Grants as a thank you for his service. And that statue has Lincoln Grant and uh, Stanton. That's an original bookcase with some of his books. Now, as you go by this last placard, you will be able to see part of that original piano. From here down, the same. A little bit of difference here. Now, the world tour that the Grants were on, they were both very popular. They were gifted and greeted. So about 90% of all the furnishings in here are original. That's amazing. Hundreds of people came through here when he won the election. The grants were probably kind of middle of the road when it came to wealth. So this is at that the dining time, room. Because it was military. Uh, now they brought Julia the Grant silver and the china back here at the end of the presidency. The china and the silver. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then a they have a spiral staircase. Off to the left, the part of the statues of the Council of War. This is an old chromolithograph of uh, Union and Confederate leaders. It's Grant and Lee. So this was the bedroom of Frederick Grant, his oldest son. He went on to hold some government posts. That's a chamber pot. This was the room of Nellie. Grant, who was their daughter. And this was U.S. Grant's bedroom. I think that's actually the bed. It's General Grant's chain. That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And uh, the ladies had their own dressing room. Here's an old sewing machine. This was the room of his youngest son, Jesse Grant. Uh, I know he ran against uh, William Jennings Bryan for the 1908 Democratic nomination for president. 
And this was the bedroom of their second son, Ulysses S. Grant Jr. And he started the U.S. Grant Hotel. Summer. Furnished of the time, not of the Grants. The tub is original. End of the walkway, there's a brick building, public restrooms, and an exhibit area. Okay. Fourteen damage to this home, especially this rear part and even the roof. So these two small, and the firebox is really small. And even though it was innovative that you could load it from I-3 in 1893, and it gets that orange color from the amount of iron that was in the So they have an exhibit on the pets of the presidents. As you can see, uh, Thomas Jefferson, of course, had two bears. John Quincy Adams had a freaking crocodile. James Buchanan had two elephants. Lincoln had a, a lot of pets, actually. The Grants had a number of pets, including a rooster and a parrot. Not surprised, Teddy Roosevelt had all of these things. Now, FDR had actually six dogs, but none of these are relevant, only Fala. Fala is the best dog in history. There's a Bo and Sonny, and Trump doesn't have any pets. Sad. This is a collection of replica White House China. Uh, the different administrations have had uh, different patterns. They're all displayed at the China room at the White House. Uh, there's Lincoln's China. And here are a bunch of painted rocks with uh, the presidents and their wives. Why? I don't know. Uh, but there's a loner James Buchanan. I feel you, man. Outside the house, they have a statue of First Lady Julia Dent Grant. And I will say that is not the most flattering statue that I've seen. Here is the view of the town of Galena from the Grant House. So anyways, that is the Ulysses S. Grant House. Uh, really cool. Uh, most of that stuff in the house is original. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed this. Um, so go check out my other videos on Galena. I also have a video on his uh, tomb in New York City, which is the largest tomb in the United States. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.